Hello everyone, it's Carlene here. Um, I would like to do a VR for Thelma Hall on YouTube. She's having a birthday challenge and she it has it under hashtag 65 Thelma. Um, it's going to run from now till the 22nd. She would like you to have everything in to, by the 22nd and she's going to draw on September 30th. She would like you to do a VR and send a birthday card and a gift, but something you made. Could be anything that you do, like some people are into crocheting, some are into cross stitch, some are into the paper stuff, whatever you feel like making and sign it too, please. Um, she's going to have three group, uh, three prizes. It's all recollections, like three names drawn, and she's, it's all in recollection stuff she's been collecting. Um, she would, would like you to be a subscriber over 18, and please, if you go over and check her out and subscribe, please stay a subscriber, and you really should go over and check her out. She's a marvelous lady and um, very sweet, and she does hauls, she does um, beautiful tassels, journals, all sorts of crafty stuff just like the rest of us and um yeah and if you can do a vr for her and put hashtag 65 thelma so she can see that you did a vr and your name will go in for a draw so please go over and uh, learn some more from her channel and uh yeah it's gonna be fun so please go see thelma so i got some um Pulse. So anyways, this is a lettuce spinner I picked up and I made uh, Betsy Doodle on YouTube. I was watching her and she was doing this. Now this one's ink and paint, or no, this one's ink. And I used um, hand sanitizer, the jelly stuff, and put it in the ink and that and then spun it. This is some paint. This one I kind of like, but it is kind of neat. Just some something fun. Plus it's fun to do with the grandkids. And I can turn these into tags and pages in the um, junk journals. So yeah, this one's kind of neat too, but it's kind of fun just to see how it's going to come out. That one's um, re-inker. Yeah, so I just did a whole pile. But anyways. Ooh. So I got to go to Grand Prairie and it's not very often I get to go there. So I get excited because I get to go to Michael's. So I picked up some white cardstock. And this says new, I don't know how new, but this is, um, iridescent uh, foil cardstock. It's very pretty. Can't wait to try this stuff out. And then I got this one. It has red, orange, gold, um, green, and blue. And they're all very pretty too. Be fun for Christmas and fall. I also picked up this pad, Colors of Autumn. It's got some really nice images and some cutouts. That's really pretty. And this one's pretty too. And they're all pretty. Lightning bugs, I think they're supposed to be. Or just beautiful moths, I don't know. And some more bigger cutouts. And it says, Fall is in the air. There is always something to be thankful for. Choose to be grateful. Autumn. The year's last 
loveless smile. Oh, the autumn, the year's last loveliest smile. <laughs> Let's see if I can read it right. But yeah, it's got lots of nice things in here. So this will be fun to do some fall projects with. I don't like mushrooms at all. I don't like to eat them, none, any kinds. But that's a cute page, or mushrooms. Did I say mushrooms? Sometimes I can. Okay, and then I picked up this stapler. And it came with the staples. And I got to the till and I seen this cute little set. We had one in pink and I don't know if there was any other colors. So I'm gonna go back, I think, when I can and get a pink one for my granddaughter for Christmas. But it came with little paper clips pencil sharpener inside this little thing so that the shavings don't go all over. Tiny little stapler. Stapler, staple remover. Some cute little scissors and they actually cut really well. I've already tried them. And tape dispenser. It came with tape and then it came with extra staples and extra tape. So it's kind of cute. How does that go in there? Oh. Anyways, then I found these and I thought these were adorable. So I got those for some happy mail. What else did I get? This. Oh, and I got some ink. Um, distressed Oxide. This one is uh, Rustic Wilderness. Seedless Preserves. Victorian Velvet. And this was there too. And I had to have this because it just was so cute. I had one in gold, but bigger. But years ago that I used to use all the time. Except the thing went ding, 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 ding. But that doesn't move, but... It does work because it has all the stuff for setting it and everything. Didn't need it, just wanted it. Then my next haul is um, AliExpress. Now I ordered these, they're little games. I ordered three for Christmas gifts for grandkids and they light up and it's like a little game and it has a key ring thing here. Um, you just, every time it lights up, if it lights up here, you quickly hit it here, here, you try and keep up with it, the lights. I got three of those, red, blue, and pink. My next thing I got was these dyes, they're uh, gnomes, they're fall. And this, I can't remember this, where I bought them from but they came like this and I've bought there before and they give you a nice little egg. I picked up, well these came a little bit late because I sent out some uh, happy mail or friend mail or something and um, I put a bunch of fl flowered, um, um, what do you call it, charms in there but I was waiting for these and they didn't come so they came of course right after I sent the mail out but I'll send these still and I got two bags of those to share yeah so they're very pretty there quite pretty all different colors then I got these packages of little bird houses with um a little pearl in the side. And there's the little birdhouse door. I got these. I got something like it and sent them off already. These ones came and they looked really nice on my phone, but they came with the pearl, but this one I've colored. They all aren't finished colored. Or they're also mixed. But oh well, if I have to color them, that's not a big deal. And then these were kind of cute, but these are plastic and they're not very nicely finished either. 
see that didn't finish the pearl or anything, but oh well. Then I was working on uh, a little project here and that's where I put this one and I had to color the pearl. So, um, and then a paper clip, I put this little flower in here, but they're so bright that I had to use some brown ink and daub it a little bit to make it a little bit duller. But I have a bunch of these coasters. They come in the mail from like Red Cross and um, MS and stuff. They give them out uh, at certain times and they come two in a pack, but I could never bring myself to use them because they're so cute and they're so pretty. So I decided to try and make a little journal. As I say, one fine day. So I stuck that on there. I inked around it with gold. And I covered the inside with some um, scrapbook paper, made a tag and a pocket. And this is all paper that I've coffee dyed. And just added a few things. I might add some more tags, like a pocket and some more tags actually, because it's kind of fun. Then I made this little tag. Here's one of those flowers where I had to color the pearl. And it's just a flip, hide a secret message. And I put this in. Yeah, I think I still need to do a little bit more. I should do some stamping in here. Just a little piece of um, scrapbook paper. So I just folded it up and something to write on in there. Kind of fun. Oh, and then I made this little tiny book. And I put a tag there and a tag there. Yeah, it was just kind of fun. I'm always trying to use something different to make these little journals. Oh, and then I made these little tags and they just slip in here like that. And that's one of my flowers I made. And then this is a little belly band and stuck that in there. So that's everything for now. I do have another haul and uh, so I will see you again. And um, if you liked my video, please um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And um, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.